What is the electric field a distance d from the end of this uniformly charged line? The line has a length l and a net charge of negative q. We know how to find the electric field produced by a point charge. We use Coulomb's law E equals to kq over r squared. But this is not a point charge, so what do we have to do? We have to chop the charge into little pieces of dq. Each dq would be a point charge, so we can use this equation to find the field. And then we have to add the field produced by all of the little pieces of dq together to get the total electric field over here. So the E, the vector E, is the integral of the vector dE. In this particular case, we happen to have just a one-dimensional situation because all of the little pieces of dq is negatively charged, so the field will go towards the negative charge. So this integral is just a one-dimensional one. We do not have to break the dE into x, y, or z components. And the dE is the field produced by point charge dQ, so dE would be k dq, because that's the point charge dq, over r squared. The r is the distance between the point source and the location we're interested in. So this distance here is the r. And for this integral, anything that is a constant can be taken out of the integral. What do you think we can take out? We can certainly take out the k. k is always a constant. Can we take out the r? Is r the same for a different dq? For a different dq, r is different. So r is a variable. That means we cannot take r out of the integral. So our integral is uh, going to be like this, uh, 1 over r squared dq. Here we have a function of r. We would know how to do this integral if we have a function of r and a dr. However, what we have here is dq, not dr, which means uh, we need to rewrite this dq so that uh, we can get, turn the dq into something dr. Now dq is the amount of charge that is in this little segment. So dq is the charge in this segment. And uh, what is the dr? This is r. dr would be like delta r. So dr is uh, like the length, the little length of this segment. So charge equals to what times the dr, which is the length. What goes here should be the linear charge density. So the charge equals to the linear charge density times the length. And what is the linear charge density for this line of charge? It would be the total charge Q divided by the total length L. This would be the linear charge density. If you want to take care of the sign, you can put the sign in. Or we can just uh, keep this as uh, Q over L, and then just use this equation to find the magnitude of the electric field. And then we look at the picture for direction because the electric field is a vector. For a vector, the signs tells us about the direction. So now I can replace the dq with that. So I have the integral of oh, k, and then you have 1 over r squared, and then I'm going to replace dq with q over l times dr. Now, of course, q over l is constant. We can take it out. So I have k times q over l. And then the integral will be the integral of uh, 1 over r squared dr. Because when we integrate, we gain 1 degree of power. So degree of power goes from r to the negative 2. Negative 2 plus 1 gives us a negative 1. And then we have to multiply by 1 over negative 1 over here. And what next? When we do the integral, we have to integrate and add the dE produced by every bit of dQ. 
and we have to go from one end of the rod to the other end of the rod. So what we have to do next is uh, we don't have to do plus C, we just have to write the bounds. When the DQ is at the, the lower end of the rod, the R is uh, how much? D. And then we get to the other end. The DQ at this end would have a R that is uh, this much, L plus D. So we would have to do the integral from R equals to D all the way to R equals to D plus L. So let's see, what we will have is uh, negative KQ over L, so that's for this part, and then we have the 1 over R, and we have to first plug in the upper bound, so it's 1 over D plus L minus what we get when we plug in the lower bound, which is the same as uh, this, if I take out the negative and switch those two. Since D plus L is bigger than D, so this is a positive number, so this is the magnitude of the electric field, and uh, of course the electric field over here goes up that way into the negative charge. Sometimes a problem like this may give us the linear charge density lambda instead of the total charge negative Q. In that case, of course, we would just say that dQ equals to the linear charge density lambda times the length dr. 